So here we go, April 1st week of 2003, our second year. Let's get to it. Move to the music. We got a match against Kevin Nash. We also got Eddie Guerrero versus Christian in a TLC match. And in a hardcore triple threat, we have the Road Dog, Randy Orton, and uh, Lance Storm. Pretty, uh, pretty decent card, I guess. I want the title. See, I should do that, try to get more titles, but I mean, I already got the undisputed one. I thought there was more to that. Guess not. Yeah. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> Fucking AJ uh, R2K sent me a clip of that just the other day. Of the exact same cutscene. And the fact that I'm starting off with that, freaking hilarious to me. Good call there, AJ. I'm back. And my whole maniacs are back. I don't even know those. After all those years of saying my prayers and eating my vitamins. Hulk of Media is still wearing wild, brother. Needed a solid dude right there more than anything else, but. Huh. Said my prayers, Jack. Some shit like that. Here's our WWE Undisputed Champion, Goldust. This last WrestleMania was one of the greatest in history. To see the change in me, wow. Oh, uh-oh. Looks like someone wasn't happy with it. What does he want? Gold dust. What are you gonna tell us, huh? That you want respect? You can give your little speech after you beat me. I'm gonna face you in that ring tonight. Alright, I guess uh, Kevin Nash wants us, even though we knew we had a match against him already. Should have done this before I started. One second, folks. Another little quick reset ski. There we go. All right, let's run around. See anybody to annoy. There is not. It's good. I wanted. I do want to see this. Let's see where do we need to go for the rest of the unlockables. Looking for the moves. All the attires are cool, which we need. Ooh, damn, we have papers there too. Oh, but we're looking for red threads down there. We're looking for the move sets or the uh, actual moves themselves. That doesn't help us. Survivor Series is moves eight. That's what we want. We're in the Survivor Series. And Mania 18. So by the end of this year, we should be able to unlock the rest of the moves. We already got all the parts, so then we can create uh, any of the wrestlers that we got. There's a couple more I want to uh, I want to get in here that I've already I think I already have them created. I just don't have the move sets for them. So once we get that done, we won't be able to unlock anything until at least Judgment Day, unless we get booked for Rebellion or Insurrection, which I will be taking advantage of both of those. Start slowly but surely getting all the uh, arenas and other tires that we can probably last. We'll see. We shall see what happens. But for now, we are just going to uh, kick Kevin Nash's ass and move on. First, we got Eddie Guerrero taking on Christian in a TLC singles match. Skip that one, and Christian gets the win there. Up next, we have Road Dog, Randy Orton, and Lance Storm in a hardcore triple threat. Lance Storm getting the win. I assumed he would because he's got that ECW streak in him. He's probably the best wrestler technically out of the three of them. Here we go up next. Goldust versus Kevin Nash. This ought to be good. <laughs> oh, man. Now we get to listen to some sweet theme songs. Because there are some sweet theme songs coming up. This one, of course, is just iconic. The contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 325 pounds, Big Sexy Kevin Hill. A 
Daddy. He's so good, dude. He's awesome. I'm a big fan of Kevin Nash. Even when he was Diesel, and then when he uh, jumped to WCW, he was just that was one of the things that made me start watching it. Like, and the that was so just insane how that happened. And all of a sudden it's like, oh look, there's freaking Scott Hall. Oh, what's he doing there? And then what? About a month later, oh damn, there's Diesel. It's nuts. I kind of want to lose the title just so I can get the robe back. Like that's, I'm not even joking. Like I kind of want to, but I don't want to miss out on locking anything. So Backlash might be the spot. Backlash might be the time where I purposely lose the uh, Undisputed Championship just to get the robe back during the entrance. Because it looks weird without it. The wig looks awesome. The belt looks awesome on Goldust, but I want the jacket. The jacket was... It's what brings it all together. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can get that back. Oh, yeah. Now it's back into getting muscle memory going again. So big neck breaker. Oh no. Ah! Oof. Nash is not happy with me. That's for damn sure. No, way to miss by a mile there, Goldie. Check this out. Big side slam. Silence, I'm sorry. Counting it. Stop. Big top drop. Shoot up. What the hell? What the hell? Nash has literally never done a loose best press. Guarantee it. He does not have the knees for it, my friends. He would get annihilated by that move. That would absolutely destroy him. So stay on him. This man builds up uh, the momentum or whatever you want to call it very quickly. Ow. Get out of here. Eliminated. Gold is going with a big dive. Kevin Nash going to dive. Not. Freak him out a little bit. Let me grab him. Drop his balls on our knee. Nope. Uh, into the corner. Ooh, good close line. Ow, good boots. Oh, here comes Scott Hall. What the hell is he doing out here? We just used you in the last game. Why are you out here now? Just punched right in my head. Oh, I didn't even finish up that Scott Hall. I need to go put... Oh, no, I did. I got the NW on there. That's fine. Scott. Fuck you, Scott. No! Double team by the outsiders. And again. Slamming my head against the thing. There you go, ref. Finally getting him out of here. Big DDT. Oh shit, I am down and out. Oh, there we go. Good good job there. Dude, this game's a like taking a lot longer for me to get used to than the other game. That's okay though. Part of the charm of this game. Getting back into it. Oh, come on, that's worse shit. What the fuck ever? He was behind me and somehow still gets the finisher? That's garbage. That is straight garbage. Oof. See if I can get lucky. Come on, come on. Oh, Goldie kicking out your finisher saying, fuck your finish, bitch. Get the ropes. I'm breaking this control on this first match. 
just fucking trying to kick out his moves and shit. Nope, don't you give up. Don't you do fucking do it. There we go. Get up. I don't know who that actually does damage. Please. There we go. Can't remember what this one's called. Is this a curtain? Yeah, this is a curtain call. Oh, Let's see if we can get him on ours. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Good win. Good win to start things off, man. Kicking out of a Kevin Nash powerbomb. Overcoming the uh, Scott Hall interference. Still walking away with our hand raised in victory. Let's go. <laughs> ah, crap. Now I'm getting jumped by the end of the end. That Xbox out here now kicking the crap out of me, too. Here comes the Hulkster. The red and yellow is back, baby. Hogan and... Yeah, that's funny. That is absolutely hilarious that they're like, nah, we can't give uh, Goldust or any... I wonder if it's everybody. Kevin Nash is entering the ring as an important announcement tonight. Will the NWO break up? That would be great. Promised everyone tonight that I would deliver something that would rock the WWE's foundation. So I would now introduce the newest member of the NWO. It's Scotty Tuati. It's Scotty Tuati, isn't it? Banging it, banging it, banging it, banging it. No, it's not Scotty Tuati. Oh my god. Oh my. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing 227 pounds, the Heart Brain Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels with the jeans tucked into the boots, the shitty little. Cap? I don't even know what the hell that kind of cap little, uh, I don't even know, man. Weird-ass hat. A little shitty haircut. Like, I was never a Shawn Michaels fan, but this Michaels, when he came back, garbage. Just straight garbage, man. Couldn't stand him more than the others. He just looks terrible. No way, dude. Shawn Michaels sucks. I'll go to the grave saying that. I don't even care. I'll always defend anybody who agrees with me on that one. Shawn Michaels is terrible. Good in-ring performer, but just don't like him. He's back, and he's back in the black and white. Listen, HBK is back in the WWE, and looks like he's been he's in great shape. I'm glad to see him in the ring again. And why would he join the NWO? He's part of that stupid click with freaking Nash and, uh, and uh, X-Pac. That's why. Come on, guys. Hey, I'm back. That's about all his uh, heartbreak kid is back in the WWE. I know everyone's wondering why I joined with the NWO. If you think a little harder about it, it's not that difficult to figure out. So from now on, the NWO is going to rule the WWE with no mercy. Hey, way to plug the old game. So I like how they came out, they jumped me, and then Nash went backstage, changed, and came right back in. 
But there you go. There are the matches from the first week of April. Go ahead and move on to week number two. We're on SmackDown this time. Let's go. We got the Hardys taking on the Dudleys in a tornado tag. The Rock taking on Regal. And then uh, X Pac and Nash from the NWO taking on Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Goldust. That is uh that's a match. That is definitely a match, and that is definitely a tag team. Nash, I'm sorry, uh Hogan and Goldust. Greenwich, Connecticut tonight. I'll be damned. I see anybody over there. I see anybody over there. I don't feel like going out there. So we'll just go into the match. Let's see what we got here. Hardys versus the Dudleys in a tornado tag. Hardys win. Hmm. They should get a title match. Next, Rock defeating or taking on William Regal. The Rock wins, so he also should be getting the title match soon. And last but not least, the NWO versus the Gold WO, as I'm calling it. Gold Dust and uh, Hulk Hogan back in the red and gold. Or red and yellow for the layman. <laughs> with this filter on. Just completely different. By like a few shades. It's so unbelievably noticeable. I don't get it. Like, he kinda had smoke when he was the like original Hollywood Hulk, when he was still uh, NWO. Go but like, no. Dust. He didn't, uh, not that much. Let's uh, skip Goldust's entrance, just cause we've seen it many, many times. Yeah, we'll probably do a month or so. We'll probably call it there, I don't know yet. Oh wait, I'm not. Come on, Hogan. Let's go, Hogan. Run by Xbox. We got four WWF and WCW members in this ring. And, and actually, come to think of it, four uh, TNA members. Because all four of these guys have had at least one match in uh, TNA. Because I'm pretty sure uh, Goldust had a match in TNA. Yeah, he did. He was... Uh, Oh, fuck, what was his name? He had like another gold dust gimmicky shit. Uh, Black Rain, maybe? Maybe that's what it was? I think that's what it was. There you go, Hogan. Good shoulder. Oh, uh, that's how it comes. That's okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's too far away. 
We're double team by the NWO. That's weird. I like it. Water. Fuck you, ref. I sit, I sit. Fuck you, ref. Tag me in. There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna get turn these on first. Real quick. Because that's gonna fuck me up in the long run, I bet. Looking at the long guy. That's okay, like a different button this time around. Cool. Ow. Ow, ow. Get the fuck out of here. Nope. Oh. I thought it was a different button. Maybe I was wrong. It's hard to change you with that, right? Get up. Great. Not good, not good. Not the corner I want to be in. Now I'm getting double teamed again by the NWO. Up and down the big spine buster. Ow, my neck. My back. One of the two. Big clothesline. There we go. Get it with the finish. All time, baby. That's gonna be a real break for sure. Yeah, that's good. Ow! What the hell, ref? Get him out of here. So I let them do each move. So that's cool too. I'll show you how to do double team moves, baby. Nope, not like that. Let's get your ass in this corner, and we do a tag and keep doing the guy. That's how you do tell I'm trying to get up ref. You gotta be kidding me. He gave me like 0 0.0 seconds to fucking get out of the ring. Let's go! This is the end, JR. Yeah, that's teamwork right there, baby. The curtain call, tag him in, hit the leg drop. One, two, three. We get the victory. Let's go. Red and gold. The gold W.O. Is that what I called it? I think so. What's Triple H doing on the stage? He's been there since the match started? He's just staring at the ring. Triple H isn't saying anything. We don't know what's on his mind. Well, he won the Rumble, I think. I think that's how it went. He won the Rumble, so now he wants the championship, which I own currently. Which, again, I mean, I already have everything at Backlash, so I might just give it to him. I might just let him beat me and then start going after other titles, like uh, Intercontinental or European, or just stay without a title for a bit. So I have the jacket during the entrance. All right, let's see what we got. It's got a Spike versus Albert in a cage match. We got uh, Hell in a Cell between Austin and Brock Lesnar, which I would kill to see that in real life. Holy fuck. Then Tornado Tag, RVD and Angle versus Hollywood Hogan and Goldust. Don't know what the beef is with RVD and Kurt Angle, but all right. Again, another great match. Damn good team, too. from Bloomsbury, New Jersey. Let's see what's going on here. We go with an appearance by Triple H. He looks pretty serious. He must have a lot on his mind. I have no idea what he's up to. Here to tell you all that I'm gonna be born again. To be my real self. And we're gonna do that. Gold dust. I need a title shot for your belt. Come on out here, gold dust. I'm not going to go anywhere until you come out here. Gosh, what an intense announcement. 
He's even using the show as a threat. Hell yeah, we're going to the ring. I ain't scared of you, Triple H. Goldust reluctantly showed up. I didn't reluctantly nothing. I came out on my own. I'm so sick of being on your side. When the fuck were you on my side? Oh my god! So, this is my way of saying goodbye. Oh, Triple H just laid me out. What the fuck? Oh my god, Goldust has been knocked unconscious. What a flot. Goldust doesn't seem to be moving. We might need an ambulance. I took one shot to the face and I need an ambulance? Are you kidding me? Wow, so now it's a one on two tag. Hogan versus RVD and Angle. Jeez, Triple H hits me with one punch to the head and I need an ambulance. Either way, Albert beat Spike, Austin beat Brock, and Hogan beat the team of Angle and RVD. Hogan once again putting the young town over, brother. Jesus. Right. Week four, we got SmackDown coming up. The go home show before Backlash. Down just a little bit. Al Snow taking on Scotty Tuhati, Trish Stratus versus Ivory, and Bradshaw taking on William Regal. Oh man. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm Jim Ross, your host of Ringside, along with Terry the King Long. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Goldust is still injured from last week. I took one shot to the face. I don't think he can wrestle. Triple H made a big mistake. I'll tell you the truth, the WWE Undisputed Champion is me. Yeah, let's do that one, the, the obvious. I'm the champion because I have the title and I want it. So the champion is me. Oh shit. playing them underneath it. So sick looking. Yeah, we're gonna skip that. We're gonna wait till pay-per-view for you guys to see the, the Triple H mist. We are gonna look at this loading screen. There we go, they are face to face now. I met someone who really needs me. Who did you meet? Hey, look at this, JR. I'll introduce this man. Oh my god, it's Vince. I can't believe this is happening. I always want, I always have respect for people who want to be the best. For example, Triple H. I'm willing to give him all of my support. I will allow at the next pay-per-view a one-on-one oh -on -one title match between Triple H and Goldust. Also tonight we will have a little pre-match warm-up for that match. Enjoy. Yes, I do have a match after all. Wonder what kind of bullshit match I'm going to be in. Oh, another tag match against Triple H and Brock Lesnar. All right, that's fine. Teaming up once again with uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. All right, nothing over there. Is that Scotty? That's guy's right. I don't remember talking to Scotty back here. Scotty too hotty. One of two wrestlers that have an emote from her up my channel. And then I said, come and get me, you SOP. Oh, hey, it's you. You surprised me. I'm writing my own autobiography. Biography of Scotty too hotty. It's going to be a number one bestseller, no doubt. Do you want to be in? I can put you as my best friend, Goldust. I guess we're Scotty Duhati's best friend now? Sure. 
We're going to form a new tag team called Two Gold. All right, Al Snow versus Scotty Too Hotty. Al Snow gets the win. I wonder if he's going to put that in this book. Up next, Sir Stratus versus Ivory. And Trish gets the win. Let's go on to our main event of Gold Dust and Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Taking on Brock Lesnar and Triple H. Ah. Should be a fun match. We just saw that entrance. And we saw the Gold Dust one many times. So we're gonna skip those, watch the Triple H and the Brock Lesnar ones. Actually, no, we just watched that one too, so we'll just watch Lesnar's. And the partner, Lesnar! Not his title. That's enough. <laughs> That's good enough. I just want to play. Like, the entrances are awesome in this game. They always have been. They always will be. But I just want to play the game right now. Ah, uh, uh, Punching his own partner once. Oh, damn, he got both of them in one shot. Well done, Trips. Well, you gotta be impressed with that. What the hell, ref? Turn around, you're double teaming them. Come the fuck around, ref. Battle is to reach the highest summit in the WWE. Indicators on, so I know who I'm looking at. There we go. Our ones to call in for attack. Yeah. Just beating the hell out of him. Beating the hell out of Brock, too, man. My God. What the hell, Hogan? Get the fuck out of the way. Uh -oh. I don't think so, bitch. Get your ass down. Listen, that big ass knows you. Put the boots to him. I was trying to referee. Damn. Give me a second. Shit. He is that damn good. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. You've got to trust him. Double drop kick. I didn't see Hogan throw a drop kick in this era. He doesn't let him go. So like, what? Ow. Just walk right through them doing that. Shit, this has got a finisher. Nope. Get out of the goddamn ring. There you go, Logan. Distract him long enough for you to get some going. In. Referee is not letting us have any kind of advantage with two men. As soon as we tag, he's on our ass. Time for cuddles. We cut with Brock Lesnar. Ah, you missed. Uh oh, not good. Definitely not good. Hogan, get your ass in here. Ow. Five. I don't think so. Not even a one count, bitch. Fuck your finish. Oh, 
So finish me. Dick to me! Speaking of dick, you're gonna keep you right in yours. Excuse me. Yeah, at least you gotta go. Like, you need rope sticking out of it. Oh my god! Look at how vicious that freaking clothesline is. Get him, Hogan. Get him, Hogan. Big boot. Or big shoulder block. He to the is the Babe Ruth of Sports Entertainment, Hollywood, Hulk Hogan. Hogan, you fucker. You motherfucker kicked out of shit, dude. Ugh. Hogan lost that one. I was trying to grab Triple H. Brock started beating on me. But that's on him. Hogan should be able to get up after that. Like, why was he knocked out so early? He took zero damage from like, a lot of people. Hogan forced Triple H to be eliminated to the outside ring. Why do they call it the outside ring? It's outside of the ring, but that's weird. There they are, victorious in the ring. We lost the match. <laughs> we legit lost. Triple H pinned Hogan, one, two, three, middle of the ring. Here, give me the thumbs up. Hold on, brother. You gotta be flexing. He has some goals to do what? No, I ain't doing that shit. You gotta do it, brother. Oh, Hogan's coming back in. Is he going to flex? You've got to show your little Hulkamaniacs. The real power of Hulkamania there, dude. Hogan's like, nah. King, I got it. Yep. There he goes. He's the original. Look at, look at that. Everyone is posing like him. Goldust and Hogan are both extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinary athletes. There it is. This is what I need. This is exactly what I need. <laughs> it's fantastic. Listen, Goldie brother. <laughs> What's up, Matt? How you doing, bro? Oh my goodness, I'm glad you got to see that. I was waiting for that since like WrestleMania after I finished that match. That was fantastic. You and me at WrestleMania, dude. Mm, that is freaking hilarious. I'm doing all right, dude. I'm doing all right. I'm in a very hot little office. With, uh, because the air conditioner is way too loud to be playing uh, games with. But I'm doing well. Doing well. Enjoying some uh, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth for a bit. Played uh, played some Know Your Roll for quite a while, for a few hours. Now we got a Backlash match. We're taking on Triple H for the Undisputed title. We're defending our belt. TLC Fatal 4-Way. Uh, Jericho, Takamishinoku, Funaki, and Jushin Liger. That match would fuck... Oh my god, that match would kick so much fucking ass. Jericho, Taka, Funaki, and Liger in a ladder match? Like in a fatal... Oh my god, that match would be so sick. Also crazy how you and I subbed to Deadlock. Dude, okay, so I heard that and I meant to bring it up to you. I cannot believe... I was sitting there listening for my name and I hear Max hit Matt. I was like... That can't be the same guy. Like, there's no fucking way. But then again, that name's so unique, there's no way anybody else has it. I couldn't believe it. It was fantastic. It made me laugh very, very hard. So well done. I love their Patreon, man. Those dudes are awesome as hell. Love the Deadlock Boys.
Good luck on your dudes. Oh yeah, same here, man. Like, yeah. Okay, so you have pretty much the exact same reaction I had when I heard your name. I meant to text or message you in your Discord, dude. I was like, there's no way. That's awesome. What are the odds, man? It's so good. Alright, what do we got going on here? Nothing over there, nothing over there. Let's get into it. Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, man. God, I would love to see that match in real life. Like, holy hell, that match would be so much fun to watch. Alright. Jericho's probably going to win it, but I'm hoping for Liger. Not Jericho yet. Considering the other three are created, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so Lesnar versus The Rock. Replace Funaki with RVD. Dude, that would be, oh my god, that would just be all the semen out of my body watching that stupid match, first of all, because, yes, I would love to see RVD and Liger do anything together. Two of my top three, easily. But, um... Funaki was awesome. Funaki's very underrated. Very, very underrated, man. Well, so there's like a million other people I would put in there instead of uh, Funaki. Has RVD and Liger... Not that I know of. I don't think so. Inoki... Really? No, I didn't see that Inoki passed. Was this like earlier today or what? Dude, that sucks, man. Damn, like an hour ago. Fucking hell, yeah. Huge RIP to Inoki. That sucks, dude. The following contest is scheduled for one ball. The undisputed WWE Championship. <laughs> hey, that's also one of them. You have no theme on a Noki and being all sad now and shit. Which, I mean, it's whatever. I was gonna look up to see if those two are fun. Like you're in the club. I honestly don't think so. If they have, I need to find the match immediately. Cage match don't have anything? Yeah. That's what I was assuming. Rob didn't do a whole lot of, uh. of, uh. what you call it? Like Japanese runs, did he? If so, it was like just a one off shot here and there. Dude, he would have been really good, I think. Like, back, especially like in the, the late 90s. Like, he would have been... He... And what's cool is, like, I actually got to meet him maybe, like, five or six years ago at uh, WrestleFest. When, when WrestleMania was in, um, in Dallas. Uh, dude, that match at Noah is just trippy. Him and, uh, who was it, Super Crazy and a couple others. Oh, that's true, huh? Like, no one ever really goes down there to... Like, there's never really, like, any... What's going to like, one-offs or whatever. But, yeah, I got to meet RVD, got a little picture with him and everything. He was sick as shit. I love that Brock Lesnar. I kind of love it. No! Oh, that's fine, Buster. Oh, that sucks, dude. I always wanted to meet Foley. That was one of those guys that... Um, 
he's popped up in random places, but it's always like weekends where I just left town or or something like that. I always just seem to miss Big Foley. I just gotta kind of reset that right now. Kiss my ass. But, uh, love to have a beard talk for an hour. That would be fantastic, dude. He has got to have like the best stories. Like all the crap that's not in his book that he has, he's got to be like just pure insanity. I would love to like just watch an hour of wrestling with Foley. Like any, but any match, it doesn't have to be his match, it doesn't have to be new or old. Just watch wrestling with Mick Foley for like an hour. And just let him commentate and tell me what I don't see. Cause like, I've done that with a few indie guys I used to record for. And it was awesome. Just to get such a different aspect on things, it was great. So I would absolutely love to do that with like somebody up to fully. Oh, Funk 2. Funk would be awesome as well. And again, there's like, again, a billion other dudes. Like, imagine watching wrestling with like Flair. Holy shit, he gave up? All right. Uh, yeah, like sitting there just watching a match with Ric Flair. Have him watching with uh, Steamboat, with Austin, Rock. Shit, even guys like Billy Gunn and the Road Dog or X-Pac or fucking anybody. Just sit down and get their perspective and what they see compared to what we see as fans. Huge difference. Just incredible, like, just insight from guys like that. And again, I learned a lot just from a random indie wrestler here in Arizona. Sting was Sting's another great one that would know exactly what he's talking about. And they would give you some really good insight for sure. Like I'm not